Welcome back to the channel for a brand new video. Hope you guys are having a great day. It's lifestyle. My name is Deontay. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys are subscribed. If you like the content you see, there's no need not to subscribe. You guys have been waiting for this video. It's finally here and I'm starting to put things together. I think this is going to be part one because everything's not going to get done in this video. But we're starting to take apart the front end of the TL, do the headlights, and show you guys how to take the amber out and all that good stuff. Before we get started on any TL content, I wanna show you guys what I've been doing the last week or so. I know the content's been kinda slow and uploading both on Instagram and YouTube, and it's just been kinda slow, and um, I'm, I'm partially to blame for that, but then also deliveries have been delayed, and then the weather was kind of whack and rainy and stuff like that, and it's just kind of hard. And then you know the condition of the TL, it needs a clutch. Good news, all the parts for the clutch came in yesterday. I think we're missing like two things, like the flywheel bolts. Clutch job will be done in about a week and a half or so. Whenever I get a free weekend, because I'm gonna be using somebody else's shop. But at the moment, I'm at the shop, and we're here to be detailing a flatbed truck to get sold. So for the next minute or two, I thought it'd be good to show you guys the detail of this truck. I'm not gonna be doing the full detail today because I know it's gonna entail a lot. I'll show you guys the before, after. We'll make a nice cinematic. It only lasts a minute and a half, so just stay tuned, and then we'll get to the headlight process with the uh, TL. And one more thing before we get started, I showed in the beginning a placed order. We bought a Starlight headliner for the TL. So we're gonna start putting together the interior as well with a lot of carbon trim and hopefully a steering wheel. I know I've been keeping you guys up of how much money I spent to the side hustle. I think I spent, I spent about 320 bucks into the side hustle and we've made way over that. I don't, I lost track, but um, just doing headlights, detailing cars and stuff like that. So it's mainly for my dad's company though. That's where the big ticket ones are with the dump trucks and stuff like that. Like that's easily like 150 bucks. So we got the Starlight Headliner. Anyways, let's get started with this video. Make sure you guys drop a like before we get started. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Instagram and let's go. Seven hours later, we just got ourselves some food. It looks super good. From 808 Grinds, if you've never been there before, I highly recommend it. Hope you guys enjoyed that little edit. Uh, it took me seven hours. I just got off, and I made my money for the day. Make sure you guys are making your money. We're gonna head home, and let's get started on these headlights. These are what I'm most excited about. They just came in yesterday. These are the Halos from Lightworks. Um, ordered them off of eBay, I believe. I'll have links down below. But we have four of them, as you guys can see. And in this box right here, we have the Bluetooth controller. I don't know if I'm gonna do the strip yet. I haven't made up my mind yet, but we're slowly getting a plan for this headline. Quick overview of everything I kind of want to do to it. So once I open these up and remove the amber, there's going to be an aluminum uh, like this right here showing and I want to carbon dip that. So on side we're going to have a halo right here and a halo right here and then I haven't made up my mind yet what I want to do with this strip right here because I could put switchbacks or I could just leave the aluminum piece in there and change the bulb to LED. I haven't really made up my mind yet but for sure the halos. If you guys happen to miss the last video of the HIC 
window visors install. This rear one's definitely my favorite. All right, so headlight setup right now. We are tired of this amber look. We want something a little bit more modern. And I think it's time we do these too. We've got both headlights out guys, sitting right down here. Car's looking a little messy. We're gonna clean this up guys and take these guys inside to start taking them apart. Yep, that Portland downpour just started. Preheat to 240 is set. What's up guys, it's been a couple of days actually. I was called into work that night. I was doing haircuts that night and didn't film any of it but wanted to get straight to this. So it's been a couple days. We got both headlights sitting right here. This guy is about to go into the oven. I was really scared to do this part by myself, but I've watched a lot of videos and I think we have it ready. So I think the oven is ready. It's preheated to 240 and we're gonna have it inside of there for 20 minutes. Fingers are crossed, we don't come out with a fried light. <laughs> a nice quesadilla. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, old son. Well, the timer is going. Let me show you guys how I disassembled it real quick. On this light, first thing I did was remove this metal piece up top. So that piece just slides off right there. And then it loosens this piece. Unplug this piece right here. Next on the back side, you're gonna have this rubber piece inside of here. From the videos I watched, they say remove this rubber piece. It allows more heat to get inside and heats it up evenly. Also, we're gonna remove the churn signal. Now in part two, I think we need to switch these to LEDs. And that is all I did with the headlights. Make sure they're all cleaned up before they go in. But now this guy's ready to go in. Lights are ready to come out. Uh, there we go. All right, this headlight is very hot. And we are gonna start at the bottom. We're gonna start with the bottom. So if we do get any scratches on it, it won't be noticeable. Yes, it's a part. We're gonna take our flathead and go through and just flatten and clean up all the adhesive. Second headlight's going in now. To get this clear piece out right here, we're gonna take this tool and there's four clips along right here, the little plastic clips that you just break off. And then um, I removed this screw already, so it should come out after that. There you go. So you guys might be wondering how to remove these amber pieces on the side turn signal. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick with this one. There we go, that's one. That's the other one. So if we were to mock it up really quick with the inside housing, it's gonna look something like this. And then also this, I can't let go of it, but this middle uh, aluminum strip right here, I'm kind of thinking about either keeping that or dipping that or painting that. I just don't know, like I've, I'm really concerned of what the outcome is gonna look like. Both pieces are nicely masked off and ready for the dip. Uh, this took a long time to mask off.
and went to rinse off like the goo uh, that you're supposed to rinse off after you hydro dip. It started just peeling and being super thin and wasn't sticking very good to the reflector piece. So I don't know why because um, when I did the rear tail lights, it stuck really nice. I just ran out of time for today. Just with the masking and everything like that, it took me an hour and a half and I don't have that much time to keep working on this. So we're gonna close this right here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next one. I'm gonna be hiring out my buddy Tyler. You've seen him on the channel. You've seen his car a couple times, but he does retrofitting uh, as a side hustle. So there won't be any how-to on that, but every other step I take, to rebuilding these headlights, I'm gonna show you guys. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Drop a like. We'll see you guys later.